The budget does not exist. Good morning, happy Gabaline. Oh my God, this is so hot. Just popping in here to let you guys know that this vlog definitely became a very unintentional, no budget shopping spree for fall. I haven't done a video like this in the past year or two. In this vlog, I'm gonna be shopping vintage, luxury, TJ Maxx, home goods, anything you can think of for fall. If you guys are interested in seeing what I buy, keep watching, please don't judge me. I will probably hate myself for this next week, but without further ado, I'm really excited for Halloween, or should I say Gabaline. So keep watching. So I'm here in designer consigner looking for something for fall. Look at these Louis Vuitton heels. They look like socks and heels, but it's like one shoe. It like zippers like that. I feel like this is a really, really good fall shoe. I always wear like the frilly socks with like white heels and this is like all together so it's like one and done i also feel like this is like really really easy to walk in so it's like good city shoes since i'm there all the time and i feel like it would look super cute with like a coat and like just all my fall outfits slash winter outfits look at this little round purse like i'm a sucker for like a little round bag but it's like the louis vuitton pattern it's really classic and it'll match anything fall just anything in general i feel like it's such a cute fall bag I feel like a pumpkin queen in this dress. Oh my gosh. I feel like this dress is a good transition from August to September. I feel like you could even wear a blouse underneath. Okay, so this is a perfect fit. So I'm gonna be buying a prom dress during my fall shopping spree. Love it. So I really thought I was only gonna get fall clothes and now I'm buying fall gowns. Wow. The budget does not exist. homemade alfredo sauce and gluten-free pasta or rigatoni should I say it looks like this is about done but I'm still whisking away a little dinner break so this is the finished product of my pasta so I made my homemade alfredo sauce and then I added a dollop of ricotta cheese with Italian spices and sliced olives my makeup looks busted but I wanted to show you guys a bite of this delicious pasta Mmm. It's so good. I'm gonna fix up my makeup before I give you an epic haul. Okay, booze. This is insane. So the first item I'm gonna start this haul out with is my new Louis Vuitton bag. You guys saw me contemplate if I should get this or not, but you guys know I love a good round bag. I love a crossbody for travel, and yeah, it'll go with all my fall outfits. So I actually had some items ironically delivered in the mail today that I ordered a while ago. The first one I'm gonna show you is this Vivian Westwood necklace. I have a mini version of this, but I wanted like a big version of this necklace. Literally so pretty. And then I got this Vivian Westwood hoodie from Poshmark. It has the little skull and crossbones, very Paris Hilton. This is what the jacket looks like. It's cute. <laughs> cute for sweater weather. Then I got my Victorian looking Louis Vuitton heels. 
these match my team room so nicely they kind of remind me of mary poppins like i'm so excited to dress up all my like frilly outfits with these shoes then i got this vivian westwood polo i love the cursive on the collar so before i get to the vintage i'm going to show you what i got from tj maxx and home goods i got this girly glittery skull I got this long pillow with like orange and pink. I love pink Halloween. I even got these napkins, but I feel like they're not in these bags because I already opened them, but they're like pink Halloween napkins. I then got these pink pumpkins. It actually says blessed on this side, but I'm not a fan of like things just being like blessed. Even though I love that word and I believe in blessings, I'm not someone who likes those words on like home decor. Vippity boppity booze. I got a gold pumpkin. Then I got Harvest Apple Kitchen Refresher. It's a cleaner, odor eliminator, and deodorizer. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, my camera. Uh-oh. Then I got Pumpkin Spice Dish Soap. <laughs> then I got a cake stand for my Halloween candles in the kitchen. I got this sweater from TJ Maxx. I thought it looked like Louis Vuitton print, so I got this. I thought this is fun for fall. I then got a plain white blouse because I got so many sweater vests. I was like, I definitely need like a schoolgirl shirt. I got this light blue sweater vest. I got these stretchy plaid pants. I got an Argyle sweater vest. I got lounge pants that are just tan. I feel like they'll make the bum look good. I got a simple, like casual, long black maxi dress with like a cutout right there. I feel like this is a good like travel dress if you wanna look dressed up and be comfy or just like in general, a summer dress. I know it's still really, really hot outside. I got candy corn pajama pants that are purple. I got a brown sweater vest. And then I got these plaid comfy pants that are brown, also bell bottom. Then I got this skirt that looks like a skirt, but it's shorts and it's a mini and it's super cute. And now we're on to the vintage. Oh my gosh, there's so much. So I got this baby doll dress. It's so cute. I love the little details. Then I got this like underskirt crinoline. It's so cute. I love the lace. I feel like I would wear this as just a skirt in general. Then I got this amber colored lace top. It's definitely giving fall leaf vibes. This color, I've never seen this color before. I love how there's frills all around the neckline and the sleeves. Then I got this blouse with the tie. And then this vest reminded me of like Joe March from Little Women. I really, really loved this like lace tie going over this vest and I love this pattern with the pink. It's definitely an outfit I'm gonna wear. I then got this 60s dress coat. I feel like I'm gonna wear this through the winter. It's nice and heavy and it's so cute. I love the buttons and the color. Then I got this Audrey Hepburn inspired dress with the bow in the back. I loved how flowy this bow was. It's just gorgeous. It adds such a nice touch. I didn't realize how beautiful this pink flowy skirt and this pistachio green lace jacket look together until I tried them on together when I was trying everything on. I love this look together. I need to wear this to Latterai in New York City. I got this 70s princess pumpkin look. <laughs> I got the dramatic velvet 1940s cloak. I got a plain blush pink turtleneck and an oversized men's blazer. I got the satin cloak. I think it will look beautiful during the holidays and for fall. So girly. It reminds me of the fairy godmother in Cinderella. I got these 60s pumpkin pants. I got this sparkly cardigan for Gabmas. I got this taupe and gold blazer. I feel like it would look really cute worn like a dress in New York City, a night out with some stilettos. I got a 1940s romper, nighty. So delicate. I got a champagne night slip. This is in really good condition. And last but not least, Cinderella. This was one of my favorite pieces I tried on today, although it's gonna need to be taken in. This is just stunning. It reminds me of Sabrina, the Audrey Hepburn film, when she shows up with the long gloves. That's what this reminds me of. And this is definitely my favorite piece of the entire haul.
Okay guys, so this is the next day from that haul that I showed you. I just wanted to include this because I actually followed up with your guys' Instagram DMs and tweets about how I need to check out the Michaels Halloween decor because they're pink, Victorian, 1920s, glam. I'm so glad I did that because I've never seen a more me, or should I say, I've never seen more of a Gabbaween looking collection. So I can't wait to decorate with these. As you can see, I got a pink pumpkin. I got these connected frames with a skeleton. I got this skeleton head, this adorable candle holder, this perfume potion bottle, this glam 1920s skeleton, along with this 1920s skelly on this mirror, and then this pink cauldron for some candy corn. All right, booze, well, that was it for today's vlog. Let me know in the comments down below if you liked this shopping spree video and if you missed them. Also, there is a fun launch of something coming this Gaboween season. And that's all I'm gonna say. I'm the queen of giving things away. So yeah, it's gonna be a really, really fun Gabbaween season and I'm super excited for you guys to see what I have in store. And I'll see you in my next fancy vlog.